the end of this video, you're gonna know the correct way to upload long form content on YouTube to maximize the amount of views that you're getting. Because if you're stuck at less than a thousand views or less than 10,000 views right now on your long form YouTube content, it could simply be because you're uploading and classifying your content the wrong way, or you could be choosing the wrong settings when you're actually uploading a video. In fact, what I'm about to share with you took me from getting hundreds of views every single time that I posted to having over a hundred videos, get over a hundred thousand views, and the same exact thing can happen to you if you simply implement these steps. But first, I need to make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you wanna go quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. I quit my job with Gary Vee to help you grow quicker on YouTube. Okay, so the first thing that you need is you need your actual video file and you need your thumbnail. By the way, you should be doing this from a desktop or from a laptop. I would not upload a long form video on YouTube from a mobile device because it's just going to be incredibly hard for you to do that. So here's what you want to do. The first thing is you need your two files. My two files are going to be right up over here. And what you're going to do is actually take the title for your video and set that as the file name. So what you want to do is grab a note like I have right here. I can move my face out of the way and we're going to want to know our title. We're going to want to know our description. We're going to want to know our tags and we're going to want to know what the pinned comment is going to be. So for the sake of this video, I am just going to set this as dummy title. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste this like this so that it changes the file name. And then from here, you need to come over to YouTube. You need to click create upload video and then I want you to drag this video file over here. Now from here, it's going to go through two different upload phases. The first one is just going to be this normal upload and then after that, it's going to go through your check. Now how long it takes to upload is going to be dependent on two things. One, the Wi-Fi that you have or the internet connection you have and two, how big the actual file is. So from here, the other thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to upload a thumbnail. The easiest way for you to do this is just to drag and drop it, but sometimes that doesn't work. So we're just going to click here. We're going to look up. It is dummy title.png. We're going to look that up and then boom, we're going to be able to add the thumbnail in here. Now at this point, what I like to do is just skip through these next, right? So I would recommend that you mark this as not made for kids. Click next. We're going to want to turn on monetization if you're monetized. From here, you just come down, none of the above, submit rating, I'm going to click next again. All of this, I skip this for right now. Checks, again, the checks haven't run yet, so we're going to click that. And ideally what you want to do is you want to schedule this out for some time early in the future. So I am going to do two days from now. Now, of course, we can always come back and change this, but when we're just first uploading the video, this is what I want you to focus on. Okay, so at this point, we've actually uploaded the video to YouTube and we put the thumbnail in there. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to find a good title, how to find a good description, and what other settings you need to make sure that you're doing. Okay, so when it comes to all the other settings, now that you can see the checks are done, this video is done uploading. So what we need to do now is we need to come into details and we need to actually actually type out what the title is going to be, what the description is going to be. And this right here is actually something that I would recommend that you get. This is the vidIQ Chrome extension and it can literally create stuff for you. So it can create different titles and look, it literally knew what this was based off of the video and based off of the thumbnail. So I am literally just going to click this. I'm gonna use this one, but you could customize these. Like you could have it make it shorter, make it longer, add excitement, change tone. You could translate it to different languages. So many different other things. The same thing when it comes to the description, you could do this. Now, essentially what you wanna be focused on, if you're creating a title, you wanna make sure that it accurately describes the video. And when it comes to the description, you just want a few sentences that also describe the video, but you wanna make sure that you don't actually skip these things. So here, I'm just going to use the description that they created for me. And now you could add different links in. If you had different links, I would add them here. If you don't have the Chrome extension, I strongly suggest that you download it and you could get started today with vidIQ for just $1 for the next 30 days. As you can see, and I'm showing you throughout this tutorial, it literally will create the title for you, create the description for you, create the tags for you. And it does so much more like telling you the best time to post if you can't see that in your analytics right now because you don't have enough subscribers. And on top of that, it literally allows you to spy on 
than your competitors. So I don't see why you wouldn't have this. I would have never gained over 600,000 subscribers had I not used vidIQ. So I suggest that you use it too and go to the pin comment below, get started today for just $1 for the next 30 days. I wouldn't let a $1 difference be the reason that your competitors are creating better content than you because they're probably using it also. A few mistakes I see a lot of creators make at this point. I would not add hashtags to a long form video. On top of that, a lot of people will put their tags here. I wouldn't do that. And I wouldn't create a description that has hundreds of links. I think three is the maximum amount of links that I would use because if you use more than that, it's going to significantly decrease the odds that anybody actually clicks on something. And then as a result, you're not gonna get the views that you want. Okay, so from here, what we need to do, we need to come down. I would strongly suggest that you break your channel out in the playlist. As you can see, I teach people how to grow on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. So I have this broken out. This video right here is for YouTube, although it's a dummy video. So I'm gonna add it to that playlist again. When we get to here, no, it's not made for kids. Paid promotion, if you are getting paid for the video, then you need to make sure that you click this. Otherwise, you're gonna get in a lot of trouble with the FTC. Now, when it comes down here, I always allow it to make automatic chapters, featured places, I always allow that. Automatic concepts, always allow that. Here is where you're going to add in your tags. Now, remember, tags show out of 500 characters. So what we wanna make sure that we're doing is filling this up with 450 to 475 tags. So, Again, if you have this vidIQ Chrome extension, okay, now at this point, it just created all these tags. Now you could do a few things here. What I like to do is actually pick the tags that have the highest score and just come through and click this plus sign here. And this is just gonna add these on here. And then what you could do is get it to show more and you could kind of keep doing this or you could get it to regenerate it and it should regenerate it based off of the ones that you actually chose. So it shows me other good tags and remember, we're gonna to wanna to get to 450 to 475 out of the 500 characters. Now from here, again, you wanna come down. I don't touch anything here. I don't touch anything here. I don't touch anything here. Shorts remixing, I always allow that. There's some people out there that do that, but I mean, sure. If you wanna steal my content, go ahead and do that. I don't really care. Now, this is an important part right here. When it comes to the category, you're going to wanna click on whatever category best suits the video. For example, if this was going to be a how-to video, if I scroll back up here and it was how to grow faster on YouTube with non-English speaking strategies, I would wanna make sure that this says education and it says how-to, because if not, it's gonna be harder for me to actually rank the video as a how-to video when somebody goes and does a search for YouTube. Now, I don't put anything in the problems here. I typically just keep this at US. I don't touch any of this. When it comes to comments, of course, I wanna leave them on. I wanna show how many likes are on the video. I'm obviously not adding a fundraiser here. So from here, we can just click save. Now, the next thing that I like to do is I like to come into this monetization and I should have chose a longer video here, but essentially what you can do, I'll show you an example with another video, is if you come into monetization, you can click review placement here. And this is gonna allow you to load up the video with ads. I would suggest putting ads every minute and 30 seconds. It doesn't mean that the ad is gonna show, but it makes it eligible for it to show. And if it wasn't there, well then it's not eligible for it to show. So I would strongly suggest that you do that because it's gonna increase the amount of ad breaks that you could get, which skyrockets the amount of ad revenue that you could potentially make. And a lot of channels have literally reported getting a 2x increase in ad revenue. But remember, your long form videos need to be at least eight minutes for that to happen. Now, from here, we wanna just make sure monetization is on. We wanna change this monetization settings. Now let's go back to this video so we can complete everything else. Now at this point, there's only really one other thing that I would do, and that is that I would come down here and I would add an end screen. Now again, this video is too short for me to add an end screen, so we can come back over here. We can click into, I wanna do one where I actually added a pretty good end screen. So with this, we added an end screen and ideally you want the end screen to only be one thing and you wanna end the video with a reason for them to go and watch this video. So let's check out the ending of this video and this is gonna show you exactly what I mean here. So that you don't get left behind with your growth on YouTube. Now, if you're serious about growing your small YouTube channel, then I personally wanna work with you one-on-one. -on -one. If that sounds interesting, well, please watch this video right here.
Now, the reason that you want to do that is this skyrockets the amount of views that this other video gets. And on top of that, if somebody finishes watching one of your other videos and then you show them another video, this is a huge sign to YouTube that they should push out more of your content. And on top of that, the majority of people that watch a video after an end screen actually watch for 70% or more of that video, which skyrockets your average view duration and gets that other video pushed out. So I would strongly suggest that you do that. Now, from this point, there's actually not anything else that you have to do. If you want to add in a card you can do that but really these are the only essential things that you need to do now from here you might want to publish the post or you might want to schedule it out for a date in the future and remember you should not be forgetting to add a pinned comment. If we look at any of the content that I upload, I always have a pinned comment and it's always related to a call to action that's in the video. Let's pause this. So in this video, I have a call to action pretty close to the beginning of the video that says that you could get a free course. So I have that free course here at the pinned comment. I would strongly suggest that you do that also so that you could drive more leads or so that you could just get people to interact with something else. This is also another place. If you don't have something to sell somebody or you don't have anything like that, this is another great place for you to actually go ahead and put something like a sponsorship or another video that you think people would be interested in or even a playlist to all the other content that you have that's gonna be relevant for the person viewing this video. Now at this point, the only reason that you're not getting the views that you want is probably because you're not using YouTube's latest feature, which literally tells you what videos to create for your ideal audience. If you wanna know how that works, check out this video right here that's gonna help you skyrocket the growth you're getting right now on YouTube.